Hello, welcome to Avalonius Improvement. Hey guys, I have not been on in a while. How are ya? Hope it has been wonderful. Hey, look, I know that uh, things aren't going so well at the moment, but always look up, uh, follow the health, uh, the health code, okay, you know, uh, try to um, be cautious in what you do. And don't freak out. There's no reason for that. Um, everything's all going to be all right. So today, to keep your mind busy, I'm going to tell you something that is super intriguing to me. Music! Music is my favorite. Um, I love music. I think I come from a family full of music, and that also may, may not be the reason why I love music, but I will assure you it probably is. Um, okay, so y'all are probably gonna be like, boo, but just hear me out and let me speak. And, and feel free to, um, conversate in the comments and how you feel. I'm open-minded. Please, um, I ask that your comments, um, even if they're you know, not going to be so nice if they will, you know, just, just turn it down for the people who are younger, you know, that might be coming around. Okay. So music. What makes music so entertaining? Um, what, how do certain songs get on the radio and get so poppy that these are not songs people would normally listen to? Well, certain people, um, like, you know, there's people who listen to all kinds of stuff, right? Like rock and like opera, um, blues. And there's people who like to listen to whatever. And some people like to listen to pop and stuff. Okay. So what makes it so intriguing for anyone to like, you're listening to it. It sounds really good. It's because of the music, right? It's the kind of beat that, uh, makes it sound good. I I think that um, we can all say and agree that, right? Whenever I listen to a song, I mean, at least personally, um, it's always the beat. Like, I, that's why I like the Beatles. Um, the Beatles had such a groovy beat and their backgrounds, like when they did the videos, were so trippy. Like, it was, it was, come on. I Come on. I know you all can agree with me. At least most of you out there. Um... But okay, so take all of that, and I have a video to show you, okay? Um, it's going to explain in more detail what I'm trying to say. So um, me and my husband have created a song just for you, and we've added a video to it, um, and now... I want you to watch the video and I also want you to listen to the lyrics and the sound. But tell me, don't lie now, which one did you hear first? What was your first sense? Like one of your senses, what was the first one that you recognized the strongest while listening to the song? Um, listen to it a few times if you have to, okay? I'm going to teach you something extremely important. All right, well, go ahead and watch it now, and I'll be back shortly. there. I'm back. So, what did you think about the song? All right. 
There were three things about the song. The instruments, the words, and, well, vision. So, what was more prominent to you? Did you happen to listen to the lyrics in time, or did you have to go back a few times? But when you did that, did you also read um, and pay attention to the video more? And if you did that too, tell me what you thought, guys. Cool little experiment, right? So, I'm going to explain something to you. The whole basis of pop music is it's a hot and cold scenario. A lot of songs are very um, salt and pepper, very um, black and white. Oh, wait, speaking of which, did you notice something different about my face right now? If you said my, sh my eye shadow, you're totally correct. Do you know what was so striking about it? If I would have had all pink or all black, it would have still been a lot more uh, not as noticeable as me doing one of the opposite. But not only did I do the opposite, I did the complete opposite. A super bright pink and a black. That's what they do in the music media. All the record companies and um the, you know the, the rap, you know the the rappers and DJs and other artists, they have songs that are subliminal into getting you to feel a certain way than you would on your just self. Now, don't get me wrong. We all have different feelings of all kinds. But, well, hopefully some of them, some, we don't use some of them. Some of the feelings are not good feelings. <laughs> but take this thought, for instance, and I'm going to give you some homework. The songs that you love the most, I want you to really listen to the lyrics next time and pay attention to the words and see how you feel at the end of the song. Watch the video as well. Videos, um, that's the funny thing about videos, like when you're watching on YouTube, is that a lot of people will watch the video and first, is the, first the music gets, you know, the beat gets them and then they're watching the video and by the time the words are coming in, they're listening to the words, but they're really watching uh, the screen and they have imaginations because they're, you know, they're, we're all imaginative. And so when the words come in, we're even chanting them and not necessarily realizing what we are saying. Now, if you feel like you are not one of them, just test yourself. I know I had to, and I definitely stopped listening to a lot of music because of it. I just stayed at jazz um, because it's really upbeat and always has a really nice rhythm, um, which I just said again, <laughs> but there's no words. I can make up my own words. I Personally, I talk to God and uh, clean the house and stuff like that. <laughs> well, what did you think about the video? Let me know in the comments. I'm open-minded. I hope you are as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this. I spent my time uh, making this video just for you guys to enjoy. Um, as you know, you're all my friends. And I miss and love all of you very much. So you guys have a great day. And by that, um, I'm going to sing one happy song for you that um, shows you what real music should be like. No manipulations and none of that. Promise. We all should be very happy together because we're a family in Christ. Rainbows and sunshine. Joy. 
week is going to be awesome, and it's awesome to be alive. Food on the table and a 